¿Qué hubo fieras? Espero que estén bien. So, muchos de ustedes me han preguntado, you've messaged me, you've left comments on the Instagram y también aquí en el channel de YouTube. Y me han también pedido, you've requested, de que yo hable más de mi conexión con los antepasados, con los dioses de Aztlán. And to talk about it because you also want to feel that connection and to to strengthen it as well so primero I really want to say que todos nosotros los descendientes de Aztlán we are connected to the ancestors the gods of Aztlán take care of us and guide us pero muchos de ustedes don't always believe because Nuestra gente, for hundreds of years, have been made to believe que nuestras creencias are invalid. And yes, it has to do with the colonization. It has to do with the oppression of our people. Pero I know que hay muchos de ustedes that continue to believe. And that is one important step in the connection, in strengthening that connection. Porque ustedes tienen que creerla como realidad. A lot of our history has been made into legends and myths. And that's fine, pero mucha gente piensa que because they're legends and myths that they're no longer real. Y nuestra historia es real. And the gods of Aztlán want us to embrace that. Porque ustedes, if you're watching this video, if you follow me on IG, and of course, if you like do danza or, you know, singing, drums, lo que sea, that has to do with our culture, you feel the reality of it. Lo sienten because les llama. You know what I mean? And that is powerful. So the first step I would say is que no les dé pena, you know, empezar a llamarse azteca. Or, or Mexica, or Purepecha, Chichimeca, whatever it is. I always refer to us as Aztec because that's the name of people that come from Aztlán. But I truly believe que toda la gente indígena that lives in America, we are all one. You know, we may call ourselves different things. Tal vez seamos de diferentes tribus, tengamos diferentes dialectos, costumbres but we are all one, okay? And I will always promote that unity, no matter what you call yourself, no matter nada. I will always promote the unity de nuestra gente indígena. So with that said, I think que una, una cosa importante as well is for you to, st to open up your mind, is for you to open up yourself to receiving the messages that the ancestors want to send you. And for you to also start communicating con ellos. Because nuestra gente, como he dicho por muchos años, ha sido oppressed en nuestra religión, en nuestras creencias, en nuestras costumbres. And even the colonizers made us feel and believe that that was bad. Hay mucha de nuestra gente que va a hablar de, de cosas como religión and they will point at us and our creencias y va a decir que es algo malo. You know what I mean? But I think that the most important thing is for you first to embrace it and you will start getting those messages. You will start to understand a nuestros dioses and they will connect with your energy. No hace mucho que empecé este, este journey, but it's gone fast. Like it has happened fast. And I couldn't be more grateful to the gods of Aztlán for that. Because I like to be logical about things, pero hay muchas cosas que have come to me, muchos mensajes, that there's no way I can deny who they're from and what they mean. And I've come to really trust that. Y es por esa confianza that they have started to, to encourage me to do this and to give you these messages. And like, 
one of the things that tell me that they're right is so many people that are opposed to it, <laughs> you know? Um, so many people are triggered by it. Y está bien, because that is a part of healing. You know, if it triggers you, if it bothers you, that's something that you gotta heal. So, another reason por qué yo sé que estos mensajes son reales es porque me han mandado mensajes en náhuatl y yo, yo todavía no hablo el idioma, el dialecto. Um, so, <laughs> I've had to go out and research, you know, like, what does this mean? What does that mean? And I am shocked and surprised when it actually means something and it actually makes sense, okay? And so, one of my goals este año es empezar a aprender Nahuatl. And I would definitely encourage a todos to do that, to learn the language of our ancestors. Y cualquier dialecto, right? Like I said, somos de muchas tribus. So, learn el lenguaje de tus antepasados, whatever that is. Definitely encourage you to do that. And also, este, los dioses me han mandado mensajes of information that I didn't know before. And so again, when I research it, it makes sense. Y usualmente esos mensajes están conectados a lo que está pasando en mi vida en este momento, o también son mensajes que les traigo a ustedes, you know, that I share with you, that are for you. So that is a little bit of how I connect con los antepasados. Um, let me know how you feel about lo que he dicho and like how it is that you connect with them pero one thing que quiero aclarar es que todos estamos conectados con ellos it is a matter of you opening up yourself y tu mente para aceptar esa conexión I would love to one day que les pregunten what's your your race o de donde vengan y no que digan no solo indígena, pero que digan azteca, que digan chichimeca, que digan pure, purepecha. I'd love to see that in our people. Okay, fieras. So I hope that you like this message. Déjenme saber if you are interested in knowing más cosas de, de los mensajes que han mandado los, los antepasados, los de Aslan, how they connect with me. I have like libretas llenas of things that I don't want to forget that tengo muy presentes of experiencias que me han pasado con nuestros dioses. So again, muchas gracias for listening, for connecting with me. And as always, sending you fiera vibes. Gracias.